Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am going to be putting up my drop cloth curtains and they're probably going to be too long. Uh, I'm going to show you how I'm going to put them up. I just got, let's see, they were 4 by 12. They're definitely going to be too long for my windows the way the rods are, so I have to have my husband um, raise them up anyway. But I got four panel, uh, four drop cloths, 4 by 12 and I got them at Harbor Freight. I don't know if you have a Harbor Freight near you, but they were the cheapest ones that I have found. They were like $8.99 each, I think, and if you have a coupon, they're even cheaper. Um, so I brought them home, opened them all up, and they were really stiff, so I threw two at a time in my washer and dryer, and they shrunk a little bit. Um, I didn't wash them with hot water, but um, they shrunk a little bit, but here they are, and they're much more like, I don't know how to explain it. They're like movable. They're, they got thinner, definitely thinner, and um, they look much better. So I'm going to show you the clips that I bought. So I don't know how many I need for each panel. Um, I'm just going to call them panels, even though they're drop cloths. So I got four packs. These were over $6 each. But um, I got these from Target, and I wanted the bigger rings. So I picked these up, and now I'm going to show you how I'm going to hang them. It's super long. Um, so I hope you guys can see this, but do you see at the top, I kind of folded it over so that um, it's like folded over the top. Um, so I think that's about the length that I want them. I'm going to do the first one and see if I like it. And then the next one, I'm going to I'm going to measure how much I folded this over. All right. So I'm going to measure from where I folded it over to the um, edge. So I think I like this length. So this is 27 inches um, from here to here. So I'm gonna take my hooks out of the bag. And I'm gonna start on one end. You guys don't mind my rugs, I can't, I hate our rugs. I can't wait to get like new flooring. But that's besides the point. Um, so I do wanna create like a little pleat. So when they're hanging, they're not just like straight across. So. I'm going to gather, I think I'm gonna start at the end here. I'm gonna gather the material. I'll show you closer up. And I'm just gonna uh, clip the clip on so that it looks like this. Let me show you. See how it's clipped like that? So I'm just gonna do that for the rest of the clips. And actually, I might have to make a little bit bigger pleats if I want. I hope you guys can hear me. Um, of course, it's going to take you a few, few tries here. So, and of course, you can always unclip them and just do it again. So, I don't know how many clips I'm going to use. I don't know if I'm going to use each bag for each panel, but I'm just going to wait and see how it turns out when I hang it up on the rod. So, I do like these clips too. They're good quality um, from Target. So, I guess you get what you pay for uh, compared to ones that I've purchased at like Christmas tree shop or whatever. So I think I'm going to put one on each end too. So here's the end. Clip that on. Maybe I should. No, I'm just going to clip it on for now and see how it looks. And then one on this end. Okay. So this is what it should look like. So I'm going to put up on the rod so you can see. So this is what one side looks like. Um, you can see at the top, I like the way they hang like that. And don't mind my rod and my hook is like two different colors, but who cares? I can fix that. Um, this pleat, like, down is pretty long, but I like them like that. You can always shorten this part if you want. Um, sorry about the noise in the background. Max is watching something. And then mine are super long. So I haven't decided if I'm going to have my mom hem them for me or if I like them, like, um, pulled up on the ground. I do like that look. Um, but... I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. But for now, I'm just gonna hang them so they can just fall. So that's I'm gonna just do the rest of them and show you what everything looks like at the end. 
I just wanted to show you the last one so I flipped uh, so you could just show you quickly how I did it again I flipped them over um, it all depends on what side you want the seam on so um, here's what it looks like see if you can see how the seam is like right there and my dog's walking on them make sure your dogs have clean feet <laughs> um, this part is gonna be facing into the curtain so that so on the outside um, you'll just see the stitching that's just how I prefer it but you can do it however you want and of course you don't have to flip it over so it hangs down 27 inches you can do shorter or longer if you want this is just what I prefer um, so it's pretty much a personal preference so I'm just gonna measure this one and make sure it's like the rest of them so not yet so I'm gonna flip it I'm gonna pull it down a little bit more Uh, of course, you don't have to be this anal, but if you want them to look symmetrical, then you might want to. Okay, 27. So I got my last bag of clips, and I'm going to clip them. So I'm just going to start uh, on the end, and I'm going to clip it right on the end. Looks like that. You don't have to go all the way to the end, but you can if you want. I'm going to start my pleating right about here um, for my curtains. So let me back up a little bit. So that's kind of like what you want it to look like before you clip it on. Then when you have it clipped, it should look like this. So I'm just going to finish doing the rest of them on my last one. Here is the last curtain. Um, like I said before, you don't have to make the pleats this size. You can make them bigger. You can make them smaller. It just um, depends on how much fabric you gather up and then clip. So if you want them like, if you don't want pleats, you don't even have to do pleats. But I like the way pleats look. So I'm going to put the last set up on the wall. And show you what so, they look like. funny story, which really isn't funny at all. When I was hanging up one of the poles, Curtain. it ripped off the wall. But that's because it was already coming off anyway. But keep in mind that when you're hanging these up, um, some of these drop cloths can get really heavy. So you have to make sure um, your things are anchored into the wall. Mine was coming out because one day I was vacuuming and I got a piece of my um, curtain in my vacuum and it ripped it out of the wall. So that's why. So I'm gonna have to wait till my husband can put this up for me. Um, but I do want to show you what this set looks like. So this is what they look like. Um, there's the other window, but I'm sure you can uh, get the gist of what they're gonna look like. I really love them. Um, now remember, you need to wash them before so they're they're more um, flowy and not so stiff, and they thin out a little bit. Um, there is all different types of drop cloths you can buy. Um, but I think these are canvas ones. I threw away the um, packaging. I'm an idiot, I should have showed you guys. But this is what they look like on top. And I do need to have him raise the poles. And she's crazy. <laughs> I do have to have him raise the poles. Um, and I have to get new, you know, holders anyway. When he raises them, I won't, I don't think I'll need to hem them because I do like them when they hang a little bit. So. That is what they look like, and I absolutely love them. I'm sorry about the horrible lighting. It's like 5 o'clock, and my overhead yeah, light makes everything look lighting. yellow. So. Bad lighting.